This time, we will talk about elicitation. Elicitation means to find the requirements from anybody. The elicitation task is a form of probing when you have already established rapport with the customer. Your questions now will be more inclined to working out a solution to the experience problems. The goal is to identify the problem, propose elements of the solution, negotiate different approaches, and specify a preliminary set of solution requirements. For agile processes, this pertains to the user stories that are collected to identify software requirements during the planning game or the Scrum's um, product backlog refinement meeting during the initiation part. We also need to discuss the problems that will occur during the elicitation. First, we have problem of scope. The customer give, uh, give the um, customer gives the unnecessary technical detail rather than clarity of the overall system objective. We also have problem of understanding. What we can say here that the poor understanding between the customer and the developer regarding various aspects of the project like capability limitation of the computing environment. Next and last one, problem of volatility. In this problem, the requirements change from time to time and it is difficult while developing the project. I also need to discuss and present to you class the types of user requirements. We need to discuss about the functional requirements and also the non-functional requirements. If we will talk about functional requirements, I know that this is, uh, this is common to all of you. But these are the functions or features that users should be pres present in the software usually related to the user's function, like um, adding a customer, um, creating a product catalog, printing reports, also, we have um, automatically calculates the payables, okay? If we will talk about the non-functional requirements, these are the requirements that address usability, testability, security, or maintain, uh, maintainability. Like, for example, um, the security of our database and also allowing improvements to the software in the future. Uh, we are talking about the flexibility of our software here if this can be maintained in the future. Next, we also have access, um, if it's accessible from anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> and lastly, if this is acceptable, uh, if has a acceptable response time.